Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, I'm continuing my VR build with you guys under $800. Uh, the last thing that we did together was um, we inserted the motherboard, we inserted our Gigabyte Z170, I believe, X UD3 inside our Cooler Master HAF uh, tower, as well as our Seasonic MK2 power supply. Uh, and today we are going to hook up our motherboard with the 3.2 gigahertz i5 core processor. And for our heat sink, we are using the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is a very popular uh, heat sink. Most likely in the future, I'm going to be upgrading it to a liquid cooler, so stay tuned for that. And uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's insert the CPU. I have everything laid out. Uh, I'm going to hook myself up with my ESD strap so I don't shock anything. So let's insert it. Uh, let's put it somewhere. Let's put it here. Awesome. Cool. Oh, let's put it over here because I don't want it to be in the way. Cool. So I'm all strapped up. I'm good to go. So we need to open up the CPU socket and to Open it up on the Z170X, it's real easy. So what you will need to do is this little hinge right here, just move it to the side and just let it go. And then just move it all the way to the back. And the hood of the CPU socket, it's gonna move up slightly and just raise it up. Now don't remove this cap that it has it on until you insert the CPU, okay? You're gonna take out CPU. Remember, we're inserting a 3.2 gigahertz Intel i5 core processor. Uh, which it's it's gonna handle the VR stuff until most likely I upgrade to an i7. The way that we're inserting the CPU the correct way is at the very top of the CPU, there's a little dash. This little dash basically tells you how to insert it within the socket. If you look at the socket within the Z170X, there's a dash right here, okay? It's a marking. So what we need to do is follow that marking. So this marking on the CPU should match the marking on the motherboard. So all we're gonna do is insert it nice and gently. There we go, make sure it's nice and snuggle. It's not moving, awesome. And we're gonna take the lid and we're gonna place it down. Take the hinge, push it all the way down. It's gonna feel like it's tension, but don't worry about it. And then just take the hinge and just insert it on this nice little hook and let it go. If everything goes well, the cap that was on top of the CPU socket should pop off. And that means you have it inserted correctly. All right, so once our CPU is inserted, we're almost good to go. We need to start uh, fixing our environment to insert our heat sink. Now with the Evo 212, we need to insert risers. So the slots are right here but uh, they're pretty loose, so that means we have to screw them. And uh, Cooler Master actually gave us this, so we could screw it at the bottom. So that means we gotta get behind the motherboard so we could do this. Okay guys, so it wasn't as simple as I thought. Uh, apparently the screws or the risers were too long for the nuts. Uh, so I needed to actually have this, which came with the Evo 212 inside the box. It's kind of like a, a riser as well. Uh, you're gonna put this here on top. Then you're gonna have the nut on the one end and inside the box, you're gonna have the riser. So I kind of recommend to have a, a pair of pliers to hold the nut. And then Cooler Master actually provides you a nice little screw that you can put in the riser and just screw it on. And then we're good to go. Remember, you have to take out the side panel from your case to insert the other bracket to actually house these risers up. So uh, at the back, you got a nice little bracket. You put the bracket on the back and then you put the nuts and then you screw the, the risers on the nuts. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but you know, it, it gets the job done. The next thing that we need to do is take the heat sink and just place it on the top and make sure that the bracket to uh, screw it in uh, actually matches where the risers are at so we could do a finalized uh, paste and then screw it on top. Okay, so this is a heat sink right here, pretty big. 
It comes with this nice little bracket right here. Uh, on the manual, you have to make sure that you're placing it the correct way. There is a wrong way to put in the bracket. Uh, so for me, the bracket was like this. And if I just put it right on top of the CPU, everything lines up. All the screws line up. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is put it to the side. Before you put the thermal paste on top, at the very bottom, it tells you to remove this. Okay. There's a sticker and we have to remove that sticker before we put it on top. Cooler Master does provide thermal paste inside the box of the Evo 212, but I'm not going to use the one that came in the box. I'm actually going to use a more high dense quality uh, thermal compound. And uh, this one I purchased at Radio Shack. And I'm just going to insert a little bit. Just going to put a little bit. There we go. Close that up. And we need to take that sticker off. Okay. And what we're going to do, make sure that your bracket is inside that little slot inside that metal part. And we're just going to insert it. There we go. So by any chance, if you're having any issues with the screws not fitting where the risers are at to screw them in, uh, these little springs right here, just move them up. It's a little strong and tough to get up, but you want to move it up and then move it to the second slot. There's three slots and each individual slot fits uh, a different uh, processor. The middle slot fits uh, LGA 1150s, 1151s. So that's where we need to be. So we're going to close it and then we're going to insert it and see if it fits to where we need it to be. Okay, so we're going to try to see if it would fit. So right now what I'm doing is just easily inserting each screw before I go in there and tighten it up. So it looks like all the screws were inside all the risers. Awesome. Okay, the way that you know it's tight is when you can't move it anymore and just let it go. Okay, don't force it. So we're going to do a uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is number one, number two, number three, number four. So that's the way that we're going to screw it in. So this is number two right here. Again, you want to put as much pressure to it to screw it. But when it gets to the point that your screwdriver stops, that's when you basically just let it go. All right, one, two. We're going to jump over here to three. And the last thing that we need to do is insert our fan. So we are going to place our fan. You can either put it here or you can put it at top. I'm going to put mines right here for now. And let's uh, insert it here. There it goes. Awesome. We're going to leave the cable for power later. Uh, most likely this guy is going to go right here in the behind because on the motherboard it says uh, system fan and that's where we need to plug this at. But we're not doing that right now. And that's it guys. We inserted our 3.2 gigahertz i5 core processor within our Z170X UD3 gigabyte motherboard. Uh, again, we are building a VR ready system for under $800. We inserted our Cooler Master 220 EVO. Uh, from the look of it, it looks like I might have to turn the heat sink to the side because it looks like it's blocking one of my dims for memory. But uh, in the future, I'm most likely I'm going to upgrade this to a liquid cooler rather than using this. This is going to get me up and running for now to see how everything works. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.